Yesterday, very quietly, Microsoft released Volterra, which is their ARM hardware. It looks a little bit like a Mac Mini, and it runs using the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. So it's not gonna be exactly as fast as the Mac M1. Or is it? It's got some nice specs for a really good price. So it's 512 gigabytes of storage and 32 gigs of RAM for 599 bucks. That's their first installment of it. And they gave it a really, really Microsoft-y, amazing, catchy name, Windows Dev Kit 2023. Anyway, I ordered one and it's on the way here right now. I wanna know in the comments what tests you wanna see. Now, I've already run Visual Studio for ARM on a virtual machine. That's a virtual machine. Even though the whole stack, uh, Parallels, Windows for ARM, and Visual Studio 17.4, those are all ARM, it's still a virtual machine, so I wanna see how this will do on an actual ARM processor, on ARM hardware that's made for Windows. How will the compilation tests uh, run? How will Windows run? How will Visual Studio run? And how will that compare to some Somebody that has Mac hardware and uh, doing virtualized Windows. This little box has some benefits over a Mac Mini, for example. It can connect three monitors simultaneously. It's got USB-C ports and a mini display port. It even has three USB-A ports, a gigabit Ethernet port, Wi-Fi 6, so some good stuff there. Microsoft is really pushing towards ARM now. They saw how well Apple did with it and they're really going forward with it. And I'm pretty happy about that. So .NET 7 is now compatible on ARM and they're working on having complete parity with the x64 versions of .NET Framework. Here's the official announcement. I'll link to it down below for you. October 24th, available today. You can read more about the announcement down below, but some of the highlights are, this is gonna be available right now, only in eight countries right now though. Australia, Canada, China, France, Germany, Japan, United Kingdom, United States, there's the link to purchase it. Everything runs natively on ARM on this stack, including preview of IDEs, Visual Studio 2022, 17.4. And if you want to see my test comparing that to uh, the non-ARM version of Visual Studio, I'll link that video down below too. Available now, .NET Framework 4.8.1. I'm not sure, it says you can run natively on ARM64. I didn't think they were actually porting .NET Framework, the, the uh, older .NET Framework itself, to ARM. Um, if anybody knows, let me know in the comments down below. And huge improvements in Visual Studio 2022. The IDE itself runs really well. It's just so snappy i love it so general availability of visual studio 2022 and dotnet 7 is coming really soon a couple of weeks now they don't have all the workloads supported yet there are certain workloads that are not supported yet there are quite a lot that are not but they're working on it as it says here you can check out this blog post right here for arm 64 performance improvements in dotnet 7 lots and lots and lots of data here blah 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 very good stuff I'm planning to do my own set of tests. Keep an eye out on this channel. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to see more of this, give it a like. They're also listing some uh, applications, Microsoft applications that are compatible with ARM already. Not too many. Looking very promising. And I can't wait to test this out and do some comparisons of my own. Now, I know I've been gone for a little bit, but uh, I'm back. It was vacation time, okay? Everybody needs one. More videos coming. I have like, uh, I don't know, 10 videos recorded that... I need to publish. Stay tuned.